dear students today we are going to talk about ecg my topic is depolarization and repolarization of a myocardial cell as all of you know that a resting myocardial cell maintains the potential difference of minus 90 millivolt outside of the cell is always positive and inside of the cell is always negative this polarized cell maintains the potential difference of minus 90 millivolt this is known as resting membrane potential now the resting membrane potential of a myocardial cell is minus 90 millivolts as all of you know in a normal environment in the physiology outside of the cell is rich in sodium and inside of the cell is rich in potassium when the cell is stimulated by the impulse coming from the ac node some sodium channel open and the sodium from outside of the cell enters the cell as all of you know that inside of the cell is was negative and some positive ions are entering naturally the negativity inside of the cell becomes less negative it will become minus 80 millivolts minus 70 millivolts now as some sodium is entering the cell and electronegativity of the cell is reducing it will come down to minus 70 -70 is known as threshold potential of a myocardial cell what is the threshold potential threshold potential is a potential at which many voltage gated sodium channel open at a time and suddenly may much sodium enters the cell as much sodium is entering the cell the electronegativity reduces to minus 60 minus 50 minus 40 minus 30 minus 20 minus 10 0 and go to plus 10 when the electronegativity of a cell changes to electropositivity outside of the cell become negative and inside of the cell become positive as now inside of the cell is positive the potassium ion which is rich inside the cell starts going out and this electronegativity which is plus 10 now comes to zero as some potassium from the cell is going out the electropositivity that is plus 10 now reduces to zero and at the time when it comes to zero some calcium ion start coming inside calcium ion from outside coming inside which is a positive ion some potassium which is rich inside the cell is going out now one positive ion potassium is going out one calcium ion positive is coming in for some period electrically the cell becomes neutral that is a platyphase will develop some potassium is going out and calcium is coming in they are balancing each other but after some time the calcium channel closes and only potassium is going out now as the potassium is a positive ion and is going out from the cell naturally the electronegativity of the cell will increase now it will become minus 10 minus 20 minus 30 and this process will stop at a point where it will again come down to minus 90 millivolts now we have started from sodium beginning with minus 90 volt come to minus 70 millivolts minus 70 millivolt is a threshold potential where many sodium channel open at a time and electronegativity of the cell becomes electropositive plus 10 then after that the potassium from inside the cell start going out it will come to minus plus 10 comes to zero at the zero some potassium was going out and some calcium was coming in both are positive balancing each other therefore for electrically the cell will be neutral this is known as a platyphase after some time the entry of calcium inside the cell stops and only potassium was going out and from that zero it will come down to minus 90 zero to minus 90 is a event related with potassium and that potassium is related with repolarization of the cell sodium when the cell was electrically negative becomes electrically positive this is depolarization of the cell depolarization of the cell is a sodium dependent event repolarization of the cell is a potassium dependent event and a platyphase is maintained by outgoing of potassium and incoming of calcium you can say that the calcium ion is responsible for the platyphase lastly depolarization is sodium dependent repolarization is potassium dependent platyphase is calcium dependent 
Now, why it is important? It is important because if there is any problem in the ECG related with the repolarization, there is problem with the potassium ions. If there is problem in the ECG related with the sodium, it will be seen in depolarization phase. The use of antiherpetic medicine depends upon the same concept. And that's why depolarization which is sodium dependent, repolarization which is potassium dependent is very important to understand. Because pharmacotherapy of arrhythmia especially depends upon these basic concepts. Thank you.